Good morning. Dave in Kentucky here. I'm going to do a shave video. It may be my last video I ever do. And you'll see why in a minute. Anyway, continuing with the 1508.5 where we're trying to kill every other day we're using the Tallow and Steel Sicily. Already loaded up the brush. It's Takichi, uh, the Hive synthetic brush. Great brush. Razor for today. <clears throat> Some have seen that uh, I had a raised flat bottom Gillette and it had the uh, a tooth missing on one side so I did some fabrication that I've seen others do and it's now a single edge razor of ground down filed sanded off the bad side and can still use the good side like you would any other you snap a D blade in half and you are able to use that but I'm using it on a razor Oh, what's this thing you say? Well, that's connected to this. So, um, yeah, electric and water. You wouldn't think it would mix, and it doesn't. You'll hear it. Uh, well, maybe you won't hear it. I sounded louder yesterday. <laughs> Well, you know what? I think I've settled it down a little bit. Had to do some work on this baby. I got it. It was supposed to be uh, in working order. And when I got it, I noticed that it had wires that were frayed and bare. So the sheathing was gone. Don't know how they knew it was working. If you plugged it in, it was going to trip any circuit. <clears throat> but anyway, um, as I was going to put a lamp cord on it, rewire it, and trying to find uh, usable wire. The more I went back, it was just, um, the sheathing was just uh, brittle, falling apart in my hand. So worked all the way back till uh, this thing was totally apart and I got to the lead wires in the transformer there. And so that's what we wired to. We put it back together. It was pretty loud. What I did was this gasket up here did not look the best to me. And so I put some marine grade silicone around that and apparently, when I did that and let it set up overnight, it has quieted down. The vibration's a lot quieter. You're not hearing it. But anyhow, I may put a inline switch to turn it on and off eventually. Uh, for right now, when you plug it in, it's on. What do we know about the, the company that makes this? This is the head that it came with. And there is... I should have looked closer before but yeah there's no markings nondescript and I don't know if that's the original head that was on this or not because this was made by a company Racine R-A-C-I-N-E in Wisconsin and they would make electric motors and so they made the electric motors and then they would let that motor be used by other corporations for things so uh, this was back in around the 30s 40s 50s and apparently, uh, this one, I've seen it under a model, Deluxe Esquire, I think, and the Racine, or Racine, whatever. Um, but they were in cahoots with Gillette, apparently, so Gillette made the heads for it. So, let me go ahead and wet the face, get some lather going here, and see if we can electrocute, I mean, shave. So I'll post this uh, video, with, it'll be on YouTube, but that's just a medium to get it onto some forums I'm on. So let me go ahead and mention those. Uh, obviously, Damn Fine Shave is where I started hanging my hat a while back. And over on the Shave Den, 30 Day Crew. In particular, shout out to Danny Hembry over there. As he was the inspiration behind uh, looking into these razors. <clears throat> until I happened along, just a, a deal I couldn't pass up on this one. 
I think I paid uh, 10 bucks, 10 50 for it, and came with this really nice uh, blades. <laughs> Don't know if they're really nice. Mystery Edge. It seems like I've read about them on the forums before. Not supposed to be the greatest things, but, you know, we may try them. Uh, and this whole pottery. This one, uh, from what I've looked up, the crazing on it, it's the actual hull pottery. Um, was back to the 40s, so that was worth it anyway. So here we go. Let's plug this thing in. Let's see what happens. So like I said, I've got that uh, raised flat bottom head. That's what I liked about this model. You can put any head you want on it. And it is vibrating. And I'll be honest with you, I looked on YouTube and uh, yes, I'm running water over it. Just the head. We're going to be careful with it. Anyway, I was looking on YouTube to find some information on uh, if anybody else had done these. The only video I could find was Sinatra Lennon. Did a single pass with a torque razor. I've got an Astra SP in here. So he was brave. He used the actual, uh, that was a proprietary model. You had to use their blade as a single edge. Sorry about the banging of the cord. <clears throat> and he did a single pass. He didn't rinse it. He was uh, wiping the blade off, probably because he's got a little more brains than I do. And like I said, it's quieted down now. I use that silicone on there. But uh, we are removing whiskers. Unplug it in between the passes here and get a quick rinse. <clears throat> so like I said, you're probably not hearing it. But I got a little... A slight hum and it is vibrating it more than the Stolly live blade razor I had I don't know that it actually does anything basically gimmick thing they had back then just like you have with the uh, I don't keep up with the cartridges but I know um, Gillette and probably others that copy them with their cartridges they have that uh, battery powered one that's supposed to vibrate I don't know that it does anything. Probably just marketing. Here we go again, pass two. Still alive. Oh, I was naming uh, forums I'm on. So hit DFS, uh, Shave Dan. Also, um, whole reason I took a double edge or unmentionable thing off of this and put on the single edge is I'll post this over on Toast 3. So if you're into strictly single edges or you want to learn about single edge razors, good for them to go over to uh, T-O-S-T and the number 3. So Toast 3 and uh, they do strictly single edge razors over there. Can you hear that at all? I don't know.
Why am I doing this on video? <clears throat> Why not? Actually, I told my wife, when you get up in the morning, if you find me laying on the floor in there, you'll have proof of how stupid I am and how I killed myself. Plus, I knew this was going to be just basically a fat, heavy handle to have a head of a razor on. I feel the vibrating, but I don't think it's doing anything, obviously. Let me stick that cord in my pocket there so I don't have to bend over and pick it up again. But anyway, let me rinse here. I knew it wasn't necessarily going to be doing anything. And it's probably the only time I'll ever use this razor. And so I figured I might as well do a video with it. And obviously when I'm rinsing it down here, I'm tilting it so that just the head is getting under the water, shaking the water off. Any little bit of water gets on here is not getting into the machine handle or anything. All right, against the grain. see these pop up on eBay from time to time sometimes for prices it's not outrageous but more than you're willing to pay for them and people might be curious and so now there'll be a video of it I went looking and all I found was the one by, uh, again, Sinatra Lennon. Again, only one pass there, Sinatra. I'm doing three, but you still had the cloth cord on yours. That was a little risky. Good job. I appreciate you doing your video. Wearing that stupid mask for work has sent me to puberty again. You can see I've got some acne coming up, or mask knee as people are calling it. picture when this came out back in the 30s or 40s 50s whatever and what were people thinking all right <clears throat> I'll pull it out and unplug it for the final rinse here no sense tempting fate. It's getting a little warm. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> Set that down there and get a 
rinse and clean up here. Water on my glasses. <clears throat> Get a little Humphreys Maravilla. Got what's in that bottle and one more bottle to refill it with. And it'll be all gone. I have to say it's a really nice shade, but you know what? Let me rinse my brush while I'm talking to you. <clears throat> it's nothing to do with it vibrating. Come on, it was a gimmick just like most things nowadays. I got that good shade because of the Gillette raised flat bottom. Gives an amazing shave. Said we've been working with the Sicily tallow and steel trying to kill it right side up. Uh, we're down to mushing that little bit in that corner there, and it's about gone. Probably a few more days and it'll be done. Uh, I'm not going to use the aftershave to me, that just um, doesn't agree with me the greatest. It feels good, but then later on, it just feels like it's clogging my pores. So I'm going to use some ethos. Frank Ethos makes some amazing soaps, um, but his Skin Food Splash to me is where it's at. Um, I've got his fresh lime here, and I don't have the soap anymore as it was not his base and didn't care for it as much. So, but we we'll use that fresh lime, the Skin Food Splash. We've got all kinds of good stuff in it. And I've never had anything I've used that made my skin feel as good. Maybe it'll help my mask me. Anyway, <clears throat> Dave in Kentucky, over on DFS, over on the Shave Den, Single Edge Razors, over on Toast 3, T-O-S-T 3. Acting like idiots today, but we survived. Uh, we'll see you guys on the forums.